hey, Sean, with all the hand washing going on right now and everyone's saying wash your hands for 20 seconds, it's important, that's how we kill this virus with flu season, things like that, hand washing is important. But I feel like most people make a huge mistake when they wash their hands when they go through the process. And so I want to wash my hands real quick and see if you can spot the problem with how everyone washes their hands. But this is the 20 second hand wash. We're gonna get our hands wet. We're gonna use some soap. I didn't really turn on my faucet full blast, but I'm okay with it right now. We're doing like 20 seconds. We can sing happy birthday to Justin or Jay or my other three subscribers and viewers. Happy birthday, Jesse. Happy birthday, Anne. Anne's birthday's coming up. Happy birthday, Shwade. Her birthday's coming up as well. So, hands are good. I'll even come down with the wrist a little bit. I'll be aggressive. And then rinse the hands real good. Make sure we get it all. Turn off the water. Dry our hands. And we are good to go. Now, the big mistake, and I don't know if you saw it, uh, happened toward the end of the hand washing. And I feel like I watch people make this mistake. And they have these low, like Mark Rober made a video. Uh, so there's been a lot of videos where there's these lotions and powders that you can put on your hand to simulate germs. I don't have access to that. I didn't bother. I don't know that I would want to put some strange black light substance all over my hands. So instead, we found a workaround. Come here real quick. Peanut butter can do many of the same things that these, uh, these lotions do. So we're just gonna take some peanut butter and rub it into our hands like this. And this peanut butter is gonna simulate the coronavirus. There we go. I have flu virus, coronavirus on my hands. We don't need special light to see it. So now let's examine the process of when we wash our hands and we can actually see the germs a little more clearly. So we're gonna go through the process the same way we did before. We're gonna turn on the sink. We're gonna get a little bit of soap on our hands. There we go. And wash it for 20 seconds to make sure we get off all of the coronavirus. And you can see that soap, any kind of soap, really does the job in getting rid of the coronavirus. Give it a good 20 second wash. Mm -hmm. All right, turn that off. Dry our hands off here. Now, I want to ask you if you noticed where the problem was that maybe was harder to see the first time around. And I'll tell you, it's really in three places. One, I'm gonna turn this light switch off when I leave, and if you look closely, you can see there's a little bit of coronavirus on the light switch. Also, the handle of the faucet still has a little bit of coronavirus on it. And most importantly, and he, this is the big one, the towel has quite a bit of coronavirus left on it. And even though I didn't get all of it off my hands, let's say I got it all off my hands, there's a good chance that whoever washed their hands before me in here maybe didn't do a perfect job of washing their hands. Maybe they did the quickie rinse and used the towel. And so anytime I use that towel, I'm going to just get whatever was on the towel onto my hand. And so if that happens to be the flu or the coronavirus or whatever else, it's just gonna be gross and all over my hands once I dry them anyway. So the way around this is two simple things. We're gonna wash our hands. Oh no, I got more coronavirus on them. It's fine. I'm gonna do some soap here. Do our 20 seconds. And the two special things that are gonna make it even better this time is one, I'm not gonna turn off the faucet yet because I just touched that handle to turn it on. But instead, I'm gonna get a disposable towel and I'm gonna dry my hands with this nice clean disposable towel and apparently a, a leaf blower in the background. And then I'm gonna use this towel to turn off the faucet and shut off the light. And now, I have two perfectly clean hands with no coronavirus on them. And that is how to wash your hands. Now, disposable towels can be a bit of an environmental concern. 
uh, because you are throwing away a towel each time. But two things to consider are, one, using these towels to keep a sanitary working environment or a sanitary home is worth it uh, if you choose responsibly sourced towels. Uh, or two, you can use cloth towels. Just make sure you swap them out really, really frequently and make sure that when you use them, you're actually cleaning your hands really well each time because the first time you do a quickie rinse and dry them off, the whole thing's shot. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.